What is up, guys? Welcome to John the Potter Studios. So good to have you. I have a super exciting video for you. Today, we are, we're bringing it back to the basics. The pottery basics. How do we get from a ball of clay to a sweet piece of pottery that you can sell, that you can love using? So we're just gonna quickly go through clay to throwing to trimming, putting handles on, to bone dry, to bisque firing, to glaze firing, like the whole process in one video, basically how we get from here to here. So if, you, if you're new to this channel, we do pottery videos, we do business videos, we do just fun videos about my life. And we do a sale about once every month. Our next sale coming up is May 11th. We have a bunch of sweet pots. So May 11th at 6 p.m. if you want to join us for the next sale. All right, let's get into this video. So we start out with clay. And before we get started, I wanna just say that each individual step in this process, you can like dive really deep into that step. Like for example, I'm using a buff stoneware clay from Continental Clay, but there's like a thousand different kinds of clay you can use. You can dig up your own clay and use it. But for the purposes of this video, we're starting with this piece of clay. So we start with this clay. We put it on the wheel and we throw this pot. So this pot I threw like four or five hours ago. And one of the most common questions I get is how do you know when it's ready to flip it over? And my answer to that is you flip it over and you cut it off. You can cut it off right away. You can wait a little bit. We're gonna cut it off right now using a wire. And my answer to this is you wanna get it flipped over as soon as you possibly can without manipulating the shape. So like if you try and move it too early, then you're gonna press it and it's gonna move weird. So basically you wanna flip it over as, as quick as possible because you want the pot to dry as even as possible. That's one of the biggest things in pottery is you want it to dry as even as possible. So then this pot we threw this morning, this one we threw yesterday and it's, it's much more firm, it's much firmer than this one. So this one is ready to trim and to put a handle on. So we're gonna do that really quick. The next stage after this, after you put the handle on and you trim it like you saw, then is you let it dry. And so this still has moisture in it, but you can't bisque fire it. Bisque is the term for the first firing and you can't bisque fire it until it's completely dry right? Because you don't want any moisture in it. So this is what it looks like when it's a completely bone dry. This mug is, I made it like four or five days ago. It's been sitting and so it's completely dry. It's ready to get loaded into the bisque fire. So the bisque fire is the first firing and typically it's at a lower temperature than the glaze firing. So you would, anywhere from cone 04 to cone 06 is what you bisque in a kiln. So you put it in there, it cooks for However long, typically the bisque fire is a slower firing than the glaze firing because you wanna make sure that all the moisture gets out. Then it comes out and it looks like this. This is like a pinkish color, right? This is what the, it looks like in this clay body. Sometimes it'll look a little bit whiter like this. This is a white, this is a bisque piece that's like this. This is when you're ready to throw glaze on it, right? So then you can take any of these glaze buckets, which I'll show you, I'm gonna glaze this one. And then you load it back into the kiln and typically you would fire it to a higher temperature, which would be the glaze firing. And then that is when you get out the sweet finished glazed pottery. Like that, like this, like this. And that's the pottery basics in a nutshell. That is how we get from clay to bisqueware to glazeware to finished pieces. That's it. I want to thank you guys so very much for joining me in this video. If you're interested in buying, this pot will be for sale, this pot will be for sale, this pot will be for sale, plus like a bunch of more pots on May 11th on uh, etsy.com slash shop slash John the Potter. May 11th, 6 p.m. Central Time. Central, uh, Central Time. Hope you guys are doing well. Give me a comment below with uh, anything I missed in this video. That way we can all be learning from each other because I learn lots from your guys' comments too. Uh, and comment below, let me know any other videos that you are thinking about. 
and I will try and get them done for you. All right, that's it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one.